Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we're actually doing something crazy for the E46. We're finally doing the front end. We're doing the headlights. We're doing a completely blacked out with halos and the M3 style bumper. Shout out to Keys Motorsports for that. But before we do any of that, we gotta look fine for the videos. You know, Jonathan's trying to look good. Vial's trying to look good. You know, Jonathan over here. Uh, what's the problem with her face again? What's that supposed to be? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get a little uh, quick fade. The y'all never does fade, right? I'm, I'm advertising for Victoria's Secret, so. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyways. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, guys. Let's go get a haircut. Then after the haircut, um, probably get something to eat. Because we're fat. And that's life. And then after we get something to eat and we're fat and we're this life, we'll, go, we'll start working on the car. So without further ado, let's hop in. We gotta get a cold start for the boys, though. Ooh. Steering wheel. I know, right? Dude, it's Shout so loud. God. It's honestly so loud. Like when you stand right back there. I don't know. We'll you see. Start putting socks on your muffler. You gotta... All right, guys. So we just got our hair kits. I think I'm looking pretty sharp. I don't know. Johnny over here got his hair cut as well, and uh, the as uh, well. So um, we're all feeling kind of fresh, and now I'm gonna go eat and feel even worse. <laughs> well, you know, that's life. You know, you gotta go eat. So let's go eat, and then we'll go ahead and start working on the E46. We're taking out the M3. I don't know why, we just can't drive the E46 anymore. The M3 is just too much fun with the exhaust. So I know you guys have been always telling me to do it, and that's why we did it, and I honestly have no regrets. All right, guys, we're here at BMW. So I'm gonna see if they can hook up with a quarter oil. I'm getting a low coolant light, I mean, a low oil light, as you guys can see. So uh, trying to see if they can hook it up with just one quart, and if that's possible, then at least we can head on our journey to get something to eat. I didn't have the quart of oil, that's fine. I'm on minimum, I, sh I should be good till tomorrow. So I'll come back again to BMW and try to pick up a quart tomorrow. All right guys, we just finished eating, about to head home. We might be selling a car, so we'll let you guys know as soon as we get back. Alright guys, Jonathan's moving my car, the odds moving his car over here. Just so when the buyer comes, he can check it out. Man, look at all that AC. God damn. So yeah, basically somebody's coming to look over the us car. If they want it, we might sell it, which means a new build on the channel, which means a bigger build, bigger than the F30. Um, so hopefully, you know, it sells. If not, it's whatever, but we'll see what we're gonna do here. My brother's having a hard time letting it go, but let's just say his next car hopefully should be a lot better. This is beautiful. It's never gave us any issues whatsoever other than a bowl. We replaced it. Everything was good to go. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's a fully loaded F30. We couldn't ask for more, but we're always looking for the next best thing. So, pretty much, some people came over to check out the car, and uh, they gave us kind of a low ball offer. Brother wants at least 12.5. They offered 11. Um, I think my brother will negotiate down to 12 for the car, but that's already kind of keeping it kind of low. The car is fully specced out with like a Harman Kardon sound system, heads up display, navigation, you know, keyless, all this good stuff. It has all the features you could possibly ask for, you know, all the cameras, 360. It's not worth it, and especially with all the mods that's on it, it's not worth it. So, we did not rush to sell. We're gonna, we're gonna keep waiting till the price is right. Meantime, let's go ahead and work on the E46. Guys, here's the E46. I still don't have the turn signal because I don't know if I want to just get blacked out ones. I want to know after we do the headlights when we smoke them out, is there a big difference between the turn signal and the headlights? If there is, I'm just gonna order smoked out turn signals. If there isn't, I'll just order the left one and call it a day. I mean the right one and call it a day. Meantime is, let's move this hideous bumper. Look at these bolts and stuff. This is literally the ugliest bumper known to man. I'm, I'm not even gonna lie, it's probably the ugliest thing I've ever seen. With a plate, forget it. Go ahead, take out the bumper, show you guys how it looks. You know the drama is never ending. Don't let it get the best of you. So we have the bumper right here. Dude, if it's gonna look like that, oh my god. We do the halos after. It's gonna look insane, dude. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead. Oh my, I just realized there's tape on this headlight too. You just notice that? Just notice that. Time. Oh my god. Anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and remove this bumper. Hopefully it's nothing hard and then uh, remount this one. I'm hoping the reason they do this jankiness because there's something wrong with the bumper and not actually the car. So I guess we'll figure it out right now. Do you remember? I told you if we dance in the blizzard we are not getting cold. So keep on dancing, baby. That looks fire. 
That looks absolutely crazy. All right, now we gotta figure out how to, uh, to make sure this stays mounted. I don't know, like all I did was put in two clips on each side. There's no bolts down here. Maybe that's it? I, mean, I think that's it, honestly. The screws in the bottom, but I don't have any no, screws like, in the bottom. If I pull it, it doesn't come off. Okay. Just pretend I didn't do that. <laughs> All right guys, bumpers on. I don't have the fog lights, it's okay. I'll go ahead and place an order on those. Let's go ahead and close the, the hood real quick. See if everything lines up. Wow. And there we have it. That looks so good. <laughs> that looks so much better, dude. <laughs> looks like a complete facelift. I know it's kind of it's super dark right now, guys, but it looks so much better. The fitment's actually crazy good, uh, considering what it is. And I could tell by the body panels, this all has been swapped out. You can actually tell by the fenders, it's all been painted. So these gaps are not really because of the uh, from the bumper, it's mostly because of the fenders and stuff. It's actually a pretty good quality bumper. And how, it, how easy it snapped in was actually crazy. It was literally one bolt there with the bracket, one bolt there with the bracket, and then the, uh, one bolt behind the wheel guard, one bolt behind the wheel guard, and that thing is on there so that is pretty sick let's go ahead and do the headlights as well i'm trying to see this whole front end you know change because the front end was just disgusting i want to go ahead and perfect it and hopefully sand off a couple things make it perfect before the wrap super excited to make this thing mint guys okay so the progress sounds good so check good. engine healthy everything running check bumper fit me check that out so I wasn't too happy at first how the fitment was and now is incredible so the other side was really good what's up the yeah. Um, and uh, basically, because this side was really good. Actually, I should probably push this back some more. But it was like really up against you. The other side was like kind of down. So yeah, you can kind of just keep playing with this over and over and you get to fit me perfectly. Now we have the bumper on. I'm happy with it. Probably gonna have to remove it anyways. Uh, to wrap it, we might have to. So I guess anyways, and that's actually really easy to remove, so I'm not even tripping about it. Let's go ahead, pop up the hood and work on the headlights because I'm super excited to put some halos. Guys, that was stupid easy to take out. Yeah, so literally it was just all like, I didn't even need a screwdriver. This thing popped out, this thing came out, this thing came out, that thing came out, all this shit's out. So anyways, we're gonna work on this side first and then that side, so I just wanna see how this one comes out. Actually, that's a bad idea. We wanna paint both. Yeah, we're probably gonna end up painting both. So let me go ahead and take the other side apart too. Yeah, cause why wait for this one to cure and everything and then do that one, that's just very stupid. So uh, let's go ahead and do the exact same thing over here, over there. Talk to me, baby, I've been waiting for a lifetime. Jonathan's almost done with his side. I'm just finishing up my side. I'm pretty much doing a little bit over masking. You really don't need to do this much, but yeah. Don't forget to cover up the bulbs or you're gonna have to get some new ones. And then, uh, yeah, we're pretty much almost ready. I'm pretty excited about this. Some people use Plasti Dip. That's what most people use actually, I'm, which has like a mix of primer and paint. We're gonna try some Plasti Dip. If it goes bad, whatever. I have so many Plasti Dip cans in there that I just wanna try it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we'll just peel it and use some real paint. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and test it. Uh, we'll let you guys know if this is a good idea or not with Plasti Dip or just use real paint. Uh, but yeah, I've seen a lot of people use Plasti Dip. I see no issues when it's stuff that's covered up. You don't really normally see it and it's not gonna be peeling so it's not outside of the car. So let's just try it. And the problem tape off of the bulbs so now we're ready to install the halos so basically you're gonna clip on the halos here and then route a wire in there I'll show you guys pretty much what I don't know if I can show you guys exactly what it is but um if you guys look back here there's this boot you want to take off and there's a gap right here I'll see if you guys can see that that little gap right there is where you're gonna feed the wire through and it's basically you're gonna see it once you you see my finger right there that's where you want to feed the wire so uh, when you guys see me actually feeding the wires it's exactly where I'm feeding right there all right guys the best method i found is to do some wire tapping into the turn signals i like the turn signals and also you can also unplug them and plug them back in i don't want to do anything permanent i want everything to be pretty much you can unplug and replug so if i got to replace a fog light it's not tapped into it it's one of these micro taps where you can just unplug and replug so i'll show you guys the kit i'm gonna buy from walmart and then i mean from autozone and you guys just pick up the same thing honestly all right guys so we went ahead and put on the halos i think they look absolutely insane so you guys saw i pretty much put the wires in i direct them from the top from this back little uh light bulb um what's it called light bulb molding took it out and i just tapped it into the turn signal right here 
Um, basically, this is the turn signal wire. I basically tap the red into the blue. Oh man, I don't know if this is like zooming in, focusing for you guys. Basically, red into blue, and then black into brown. And now the halos are always on. When I do the uh, hazards, they blink. I think it looks super sick. Let me show you guys how they look real quick. Uh, Jonathan, if you can. Oh, oh my God! Did on camera? They went. Do look on camera. They go green. Look on camera. You see that? Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> What did I swear to God, guys? In person, does not go green. Am I missing something, dude? Seth, I'm going full retard. Look at the camera, Jonathan. What? You see this? What? <laughs> or Am I missing something here? Oh my God! So guys, weird. it's not doing that in person. The matrix is glitching. I don't know what it is, but let's just go ahead and put everything back together. I really want to see these headlights put together. These lenses uh, are not in bad shape, but we are going to go ahead and re-sand them. Not today, we will re-sand them in the near future. When I get this car ready for wrap, we're actually going to be painting some things black at a friend's place that knows how to pretty much resurface these really well. So I'm going to do it at his place because he knows best and I don't really want to mess these up, even though they're super cheap. So worst comes to worst, it doesn't work out. We'll just replace them since they're super easy to replace. All right, guys, so we just went ahead and uh, looked up how much these lenses are, brand new ones. They're only like 30 bucks for both, and then these turn signals are 30 bucks for smoked ones for both. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna go ahead and place the order 60 bucks to but completely, pretty much refinish this whole headlight with the new bumper. I think it'll look absolutely insane. You guys let me know what you guys think about the front end. I'm gonna go ahead and take the car outside, and you guys let me know what you think. I think it looks pretty killer. Show you guys a cold start. It hasn't been on in a little bit. It's got a pretty decent exhaust. <laughs> Guys, any lights on the dash? Uh, just a few. Nothing, just fuel. We'll go ahead and put some fuel right now, no big deal. But um, check out the halos. Uh, just the halos. Oh, looking so much better. So obviously we're gonna have to get some cleaner lenses and then we'll go ahead and replace these. Dude, I don't know why, it's, Jonathan, it's green. I don't know why. It's not green, guys. I don't know why it keeps showing green. It's only blue. On camera, it's weird. Anyways, dude, it looks badass though on camera. <laughs> it looks hella badass. Guys, check it out. How you fit, bro? So anyways, guys, did a few mods here and there. Shout out to Keys Motorsports, by the way, guys, for letting this happen. You know, your boy's on a budget. That's how his life is working right now. YouTubers don't get paid a crazy amount as most of you guys think. You guys think I'm balling out here? That's not happening. It's nowhere near the case. Far from the case, actually. Anyways, shout out to Keys Motorsports for pretty much hooking it up. The bumper looks absolutely insane. You guys will not believe the wrap we're going with. It's very, very, very simple, but should make the car look insane. And uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get some new lenses pick out some smoked out turn signals and just make the car look really, really, really clean and more up to date because it doesn't look up to date at all. So anyways, if you guys are excited for that, make sure to smash the like button. If you guys are excited to see the car get wrapped up, make sure to smash the like button. But without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in circ, cause I wanna have worth.